At this time of year, you notice that the days are shorter, the sunlight is weaker, and the sun strains to supply warmth. In years gone by, people would wonder what was happening and turn to their wise elders for answers. Watching the sun and its movements was important so you would know when to plant crops, when to harvest and when to just batten down the hatches and keep warm. At the farthest reaches of the earth where the sun would sometimes disappear completely for months on end, stories would be told about great battles between the gods and the sun would be under threat. Deities aside, what is going on? Well, for this we're going to need some volunteers. the earth with the North Pole and the South Pole. You're not looking at my South Pole. And the earth rotates creating day and night but it also tilts on its axis as axis at a 23.5 degrees and it's this tilt which brings about the seasons as part of the earth going round the sun. So we need a sun and let's do a demo. So as you can see, the Earth moves around the sun and at some points the northern hemisphere will be tilted towards the sun and sometimes the southern hemisphere will be tilted, tilted towards the sun. So last Monday, stop, just after midnight, he tilted towards me, the northern hemisphere was pointing towards the sun but the southern hemisphere, where the Falklands is, was away from the sun. That meant that the northern hemisphere it, experience the longest day with the most daylight hours that they'll see all year whilst here in the southern hemisphere we saw the shortest day so over the next six months you can carry on now you'll start to see the earth continues on its journey around the sun and along on the 22nd of december which will be there whoa that means that its southern southern hemisphere will be towards the sun so we'll get our longest day and so on. And we're not alone in having seasonal changes. Other planets experience them too. So Venus, that's your cue to come on. And Venus only tilts by three degrees. Is that your three degrees? And so Venus will go around, but you have to be between me and the Earth because you're Venus and you're going a little bit faster than Earth. You can carry on Earth. Oh. And then we've then got Mars, but Mars has got a less circular orbit, which means that its distance from the sun varies more dramatically, bringing bigger effects on the seasons. So do you want to join us, Mars? That's lovely. So you're going to be outside of the Earth, but you need to have a much bigger... So yes, you are going to have to go in the water. Yeah, really? Yeah, off you go. So Mars has a bigger and more elliptical uh, orbit around the sun. Look, I don't want to get wet. The June solstice marks the first day of the astronomical winter here, but it's more common to follow the meteorological definitions for seasons, meaning that the solstice effectively becomes midwinter. Oh, and one more point, the Earth doesn't move at a constant speed either, so the seasons are not of equal length. The March equinox to June solstice is 92.8 days, whilst the December solstice to March equinox is only 89 days. So unfortunately that means the autumn and winter for us here in the Falklands are much longer than spring and summer. <laughs> 